people, my name is Malibu Old John Cindy. I am an author of two best selling books called The Journey and Confessions, and I have also written books for other people who were either busy to write a book or didn't know how to. And I have a company called Bontlehela Media, which is a publishing company helping African authors write and public, uh, publish their own stories professionally. So I am doing this video series to help other people who want to write a book but don't know where to start. And I am hoping that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you haven't, please do. I'll wait for you. Click on that red button there, subscribe. <laughs> All right, so today I've got my notes in here, guys. I don't want to forget anything. I actually wrote everything in point form so that I don't forget what I will be talking about. All right. And if you haven't seen my previous video, please go back to how to write and publish a book part one so that you understand what I will be talking about. Let me just put this thing here. Okay, right. So let's do a quick recap. Last time we spoke about intention, we spoke about target market, we also spoke about research. And uh, a lot of people came back to me and said, Malibu, do you mean that I must go and steal other people's books and make it as if it's mine? No, I don't mean that, guys. <laughs> That's actually illegal, okay? Um, you want to read and because reading opens up the pause in your in your brains and helping you write more that is why they say readers are writers so point number one go back and do a research on the topic you are writing about and i want you to think about it this way nothing is new in this planet nothing is new nothing is new okay so somebody wrote about what you want to talk about somebody wrote about depression about money about being sexually abused about whatever that you want to write about somebody else has written about it and you want to hear what their point is you want to get more information you want to expand your writing capabilities by doing what by doing a research so number one you need um to do a research i hope you have a pen and a paper so that you can write those things down and number two you want to speak on one topic so if you are writing about depression let it be depression you're not going to write about money and intimacy and 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 you want to write about one thing which is depression which is money which is sexual abuse whatever you want to write about must be one if you have more than one topic then you can you can take it to another book. You can still write another book. You can still have more than one book. <laughs> right? And number three, you want to test what you are writing about. A lot of people are taking chances or is it uh, that people want to have a book just, you know, just being called authors. I've heard of a person who wrote a book uh, about how to make money. And after that, he was bothering his friends, asking them for money to publish a book. That's nonsense. It means that somebody was writing a book out of an idea that he thinks maybe it can work, but it doesn't work on him. So the third point, you need to test what you're writing about. And if uh, it works on you, you can test it again on other people and see if it works before you can write and publish a book. And number five, you want to write on your experiences and your testimonies. If it's a very powerful thing, if you write on your ex experience, I've written about uh, my experience on fitness. Okay, it was very powerful. My book was sold out. There was a point when my book was sold out. I had to go back and print and do all these things and the second book i wrote on my own story and 
my own experience and testimony which is what sexual abuse i didn't borrow it from somebody else i wrote about it because i've experienced it and this is where maybe someone might get it wrong if i say experience i don't mean that you need to be raped first in order for you to write about rape you can be affected by rape for instance if, if my sister decides that she is going to write about rape she will write from a point of being affected by her little sister story so some people would write from a point of saying i have been working with people who have been depressed and this is what i know about depression and somebody will write from their personal experience about that issue but you need to write from a a, um, a point your experience and give your own testimonies it's a very powerful it's actually what sells the book your your experience and your testimony right and um you need to write about um something that you know you need to master what you're talking about you're going to go for interviews tv interviews radio interviews if you go into write about gender roles or something you need to master that topic because this is what people do they take chances they just want to write about something they don't know and when they go to um interviews on tv on uh, on radio then we cannot even hear what they they're trying to say so write about something that you know something that you master and something that you are passionate of it's actually going to help you if you know it if you are passionate of you're going to finish your book within two uh two months i'm telling you <laughs> all right and make your book universal this is what i have seen especially with christians uh, we write books uh, thinking that people automatically know what christ uh, who christ is and what christianity is all about if you are writing to christians who are already saved they know then it's better but if you your target market is people you are calling people into christ then you need to make your book as wide as possible expand it make it universal so that somebody who is muslim would relate to your book somebody who is um of a different religion would relate to your book so you want to make it universal even if you're not writing about christianity you're writing uh, about depression if you are in south africa think of somebody in italy who's going to read your book because that's where your book is going to be maybe not now but in five years time somebody else might get a hold of your book on amazon on social media and they read it and they don't understand what you were trying to say because you were just talking about things that are happening around you your beliefs in south africa or your beliefs in ghana or your beliefs in in tanzania you need to expand and write a book for everyone everyone experiences pain everyone wants to make more money everyone whether you are black colored or indian or whatever but you want to make more money you experience pain okay so you expand your book so during the actual writing when you start writing your book now you opening your computer or you start writing down with your with your um on your notepad you want to write the outline of your book the layout of your book what is the layout the outline actually it's your chapters your um your introduction your preface your conclusion you need before you start writing a book you need to have finished writing your book and uh, this is the problem that i have seen most of the time i've read a book of some other person who wrote from the introduction of the book until chapter three it's actually the same thing with different words and it shows you that this person didn't sit down and say this is chapter one i'm going to introduce this and chapter two this is how i'm going to support it and chapter three i'm going now to teach and chapter four this is what i'm going to do you don't put the layout the outline of your book just like that and then you end up repeating yourself throughout the book and that is why i also did this i wrote down the uh, the notes that i want to talk about because i don't want to be repeating myself or saying the same thing all over again so you want to do the outline of your book 
chapter one this is what chapter one is going to to talk about okay this is what i'm going to write about it's going to actually make it simpler for you to also uh, uh, do your research if you're going to be talking about your story in chapter one it's simple you know that this is my story i'm writing 15 pages of my story or 20 pages of my story and then in chapter two i'm going to teach my people about this how i maybe you now testifying about you uh, your own experience and chapter three i'm going to teach them how i actually managed to do what i said on in chapter two so you don't want to be all over the place and talking about one thing all over again and you also need to give your book a name and maybe a name can change because you know it's it's different with different people with me personally my 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 books have changed throughout <laughs> and um, uh, especially confessions it was a different thing and i decided no when i was done with the book after editing i said no i don't want actually before editing i said no i don't want this uh, title i want this one and when you give your your book a name you want to make it intriguing you want to make it interesting you don't want to give out your book in just a long sentence of a chapter this is what people do they give their uh, their books a longer name that uh, explains what the book is about you don't want to do that you want to give your book a name that is uh, interesting like um making money while sleeping if you're going to give your book a sentence sort of <laughs> a, 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 a title that is sort of a sentence make it uh, uh, something that people will, will wonder how do you make money while you are sleeping when we were taught that actually when you make money you have to work hard so you're not working hard when you you are sleeping you understand what i'm saying i actually have um some of these titles here god found me in the bush and his grace restored me we already know what you're going to talk about you're going to talk about god you're going to talk about christianity oh you're going to basically you will be talking about god you don't want to give out things like that because some people will say you i hate god if you're going to talk about god no me and you we're not going to mm -mm, i don't like that book oh, I've, I've read somebody uh spoke similarly to what you're talking about so you don't want to give out your book just like that the second example is that i loved someone i left i loved someone who ended up breaking my heart we know what you're going to talk about you're going to talk about sad love stories so we don't want to read everything anything that is said or even about love we're not interested some people are not interested in that you want to make your book intriguing okay the title actually i went to a bookstore i was asking i was uh, conducting a survey and asking people what made you buy that book and a lot of them said it's a title i i saw a title and i uh, i wanted to pick it up and the first thing that i did after picking it up i read I read it inside so this is my book confessions and I want to remind you that people love stories so in your chapter one and in your introduction you want to start your first two sentences must catch the reader must make that person want to buy a book so um, you want to make it a story and a story that is very interesting okay so somebody else is at the bookstore and sees confessions some will say they look at this part where it's about the author about the book but most of the time they say i open the book and i actually read what's inside what is inside the book because they don't have much time to read the book they're going to read a few sentences in your book and it has to be a story so i want to read this for you sorry when i was in primary school between the ages of 8 and 11, someone my family trusted so much sexually abused me. This man is still alive today. So imagine somebody in a bookstore reading this. They're thinking of their cousin who was raped or themselves. They, they have experienced rape or they have experienced sexual abuse. They want to read this book. They want to know, okay, because this person said this book is... 
uh, for for a person who ha has experienced pain i have experienced pain and i can relate to this i want to buy it now so this is what you want to do when you write introduction make sure it's a story make sure that a story that is interesting that you as a writer if you read it as a reader it's going to be interesting for you all right so and the last chapter is conclusion so um you're going to conclude you're going to give people um tasks to do or you're going to show them the last chapter of this book is actually manifestation so that's how the, the the whole of this book i'm talking about how do you how i managed to go from being almost depressed to what i have accomplished in my life today and i've created my life through the power of the words that is why confessions i have um confessed my life i have you know i i decided to transform my mind to get new uh, new information and this is what i'm talking about through the book and um, i show people how are you going to uh, transform your life through the power of the word and people are loving it i have a lot of um testimonies on this book especially so you want to conclude and tell people okay this is what you need to do now that you have finished the book right so let us do a, a, a recap in case we forget what we were talking about the first thing you need to do a research and then you go into number two you um you talking on you writing on one topic and your book must be tested your methods must be tested make sure that they work and you want to write on something that you are passionate about something that you know for sure not something that you don't know <laughs> something that you know you want to write from your experiences and give your testimonies and make your book universal that's number six make your book universal and when you do the actual writing of the book the outline the outline of the book you want to finish your book before writing it so you do your introduction you do your chapter one you do your chapter two you sub you know what is going to support chapter one chapter two and chapter whatever and you give your book a title actually a title if it's not um if it's um, a sentence it might it must be something very interesting like making money while sleeping or you can make it three words if it's something that is not that it's it can be interesting but three words like the uh, the confident entrepreneur you understand it's it's straightforward you understand so and you conclude your uh, on chapter one you you write a story introduction and chapter one you write a story it can be your story somebody else's story but something that is you know that's going to catch those people who are going to read and that's going to make you want to even write more okay and the last chapter is conclusion so we're going to be doing a lot of these videos uh, i will be giving free life coaching sessions on my youtube channel i'll be giving away also um did i say giving away <laughs> I will also be giving uh, you instructions on how to publish a book, who, uh, the difference between a self-publishing company and a traditional uh, publishing company. What do you need to do after you've written your book? That's the next, I hope, that's the next um, uh, topic that I, I will be talking about. And then also marketing your book on social media so that you get recognition, but TV, radio, whatever okay so you want to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my video um to my youtube channel please do please do you don't want to miss any other video thank you very much i love you i love you i love you and god bless